As a big fan of old-school run-and-gun action games, I, of course, love Metal Slug. But for as much as I dig the cartoony graphics, the vehicles, and the great sense of humor, I've always been a little disappointed that the franchise didn't grow and evolve like other games. I hate to say it, but it feels like they had the opportunity to expand the series in creative ways, but instead chose to just churn out one predictable sequel after another. In a lot of ways, Mercenary Kings is what SNK should have done with the Metal Slug series a long time ago. It's a fresh take on the shoot 'em up formula, and yet another great addition to the Nintendo Switch. First released back in 2014, Mercenary Kings has spent the last few years bouncing from one console to the next. Now, in honor of it coming to the Switch, Tribute Games has decided to pack the game full of brand new characters, additional weapons, and a bunch of extra tweaks and fixes. Best of all, this reloaded edition is free to anybody who already bought the game on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. You play one of a few mercenaries who are brought in to take down the violent organization known as CLAW. While this setup may not sound very original, the way Mercenary Kings plays out certainly is. Instead of simply running from left to right through a series of linear stages, the game offers up a number of large interconnected stages that you'll need to get to know if you want to complete the dozens upon dozens of missions. Like I said, this is no ordinary run and gun shoot 'em up, and one of the main reasons for this is because the story is broken up into a series of missions that you'll need to complete. A lot of these tasks will involve rescuing hostages, finding missing parts, and even abducting enemy soldiers. These missions get the most out of the 2D stages, often forcing you to explore sections you might otherwise have ignored. The game I hear Mercenary Kings compared to all the time is Monster Hunter, and I can see why. Beyond simply going in and completing missions, you'll spend a lot of your time picking up and collecting materials that you will later use to craft new gear. This is one of the game's biggest hooks, and you can spend a lot of time trying to track down the materials you need to create that perfect gun. The good news is that this brand new Reloaded Edition makes the hunting and gathering a little easier thanks to the ability to purchase materials at the store. This should save you hours of repetitive grinding. On that note, it's probably worth mentioning that there's a lot of content in Mercenary Kings. This is not one of those shoot 'em ups you beat in a single sitting, because I still had missions to complete after 20 hours of killing soldiers and jumping on platforms. And because the way the missions are structured, I found that this was a perfect fit in handheld mode. Although this brand new Reloaded Edition goes a long way to add new content, it still suffers from a lot of the same problems that plagued the original 2014 release. From a design perspective, I really like the stages in Mercenary Kings. I like how large and detailed they are, giving you buildings to explore, underground sewers to raid, and jungles to navigate. What I don't like is that the levels start to blend together after a while. Even when we're given a completely different stage, it still uses a lot of the same visuals we saw in the last level. And with so many of the missions tied to these locations, there's a general repetition that I found to be off-putting. And it's not just the backgrounds that repeat too much, but also the mission types. While there are certainly a few tasks that stand out, most of the missions repeat a familiar pattern. You'll also see a lot of the same bosses and enemies recycled over and over, something that only compounds the other problems. Had each of these stages added a new or interesting element to the story, I likely would have overlooked some of the repetition. But without the gripping narrative, it just comes across as a lot of filler. From a gameplay level, Mercenary King shares a little too much with Metal Slug. This is another run-and-gun action game where you can't shoot diagonally. I don't like it in SNK's long-running franchise, and I certainly don't like it here. The good news is that you can craft weapons that largely negate this issue. But this Reloaded Edition would have been a lot better if they just gave us 8-way aiming. It also would have been a lot better if they added more defensive moves, but that's probably asking too much. While it's a tad repetitive and in desperate need of a wider variety of stages, Mercenary Kings is a fun evolution to the run and gun formula. It's a great looking action game with a cool crafting system and a staggering amount of content. Best of all, this brand new Reloaded Edition adds more content and makes some much needed tweaks. If you're a Switch owner who has somehow missed out on Mercenary Kings, then this is a great time to deploy to action. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What would you like to see SNK do with Metal Slug? 
You know, it's probably not fair to say that they didn't try anything new with the formula, since they did attempt a 3D version, but the series always felt a little stagnant to me. Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back tomorrow with a review of Shiny, followed by Paper Wars Cannon Fodder on the Switch. I'm also working through Past Cure, which seems to be pretty awful. I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 